Hiya! Welcome to 6th grade, Chapter 12, Lesson 4. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, and it wants us to complete the histogram for the data. All that means is to complete this, okay? So, we're going to go through and so 85. That's going to give us 1. Okay? 87 is going to give us another 1. 69. That's going to be right here. 90, right there, 82, 75, 74, 76, 84, 87, 99, 65, 75, 76, 83, 87, 91, 83, 92, and 69. Okay, so now, you can take the time to color all those in if you want to. I'm not going to. Um, we don't need it. Okay, so it wants to know what the numbers on the x-axis represent. Well, it's the frequency. It says frequency, but scores on a math test. Well, who scores those? Students. So it's the number of students. Okay. How many of the students scored from 60 to 69? Well, one, two, three. Done. Okay. It says to use the histogram to find the number of students who got a score of 80 or greater. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12. Okay. So, add 80 through 89 and 90 through 99, okay? And we're done with that one, okay? So you guys are gonna go ahead down here and you're gonna do five and six, use the histogram, use the chart, okay? And be aware that these are going by twos, okay? So if there's one that's in the middle, count by one, okay? But these are going by twos. We actually wrote in these. I'm going to try and write it a little bit darker real fast so that you guys can see. We'll help you out just a little bit. There you go. Okay, so there's your numbers. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Okay, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always. And we're going to go down to the star review. Does Marguerite do a rectangle with the vertices of negative two, negative one, negative two, negative four, one, negative four? What are the coordinates of the fourth vertex? Okay, so we have both of our negative two, so we're gonna have one, okay? Have two of those. We have two of those, which means our next one is gonna be negative one. That is our ordered pair. Okay, it's one negative one. Okay, a rectangular swimming pool can hold 1,408 cubic feet of water. The pool is 22 feet long and has a depth of four feet. What is the width of the pool? Okay, so volume, which is what we're looking for, is length times width times height. So that's our volume, okay? So we're going to fill in the numbers it's giving us. It says that the swimming pool can hold 1,408. Okay. The pool is 22 feet long. Has a depth, which is the height, of 4 feet. And it wants to know what the width is. Okay. So first we need to combine like terms. So four times 22 is gonna be 88. Okay, 
Okay. That's what I have now. After combining my like terms, I have 88 times width, because that doesn't disappear, equals 1,408. Okay. Now, in order to get width alone, which is what I need, I need to divide, I need to do the opposite of the sign, which is divide, and with the number that's there, which is 88. And whatever I do to this side of the equal sign, I have to do to this side. So I'm also going to divide this side by 88. Okay. So now I have 1,408 divided by 88. Okay. I am going to use my handy dandy calculator only to get my multiples. It is okay to use your calculator to get multiples. It is not okay to use your calculator to do your math. So over here, I'm just going to write 88, 176, 264, 352, and 440. Okay, I usually do about five to start with and see what I can get from there. Okay, so 88 is not going to go into one. It's also not going to go into 14. It will go into 140 one time for 88. We will subtract. 10 or 0 can't take away 8, so I'm going to borrow 1. Now it's 10 minus 8, which is 2. 3 can't take away 8, so I'm going to borrow that one, making it 13. And 13 take away 8 is 5. Okay? 52 is smaller than 88, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my 8 on the end. Okay? Now, I don't have anything that goes up close to 528, so I'm going to do a couple more. Oh, and if we do just one more, we get 528. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six times. Six times that, 528, subtract, get zero. So now your width is 16. 16, and it will be in feet. Okay? All right. So Sean is using this frequency table to make a relative frequency table. What percent should he write in the relative frequency column for five to nine push-ups? So your fraction, I'm going to go ahead and use the same page because we don't need that much room, okay, will be seven because for five to nine it says seven, okay, and then we need to add these up. So eight plus two is ten and seven plus three is ten, so that's twenty. Okay, which means 7 goes in the box, 20 goes outside the box. Obviously, 20 is not going to go into 7, so we're going to put a decimal and move it up and put a 0. Okay, now 20 will go into 70 three times for 60, and we'll have 10 left over. 10 is smaller than 20, so I'm going to add a 0, and I'm going to bring it down. Now, 20 will go into 100. 5 times 5 times 20 is 100, we get 0. Now, when we are doing percents from decimals, we move the decimal two times. That is 35%. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 12.4. Come on back for 12.5. See you soon.